नमस्ते भाई स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कंपोजिशन ऑफ फंक्शन ओके इफ एफ सच दैट ए टू बी एंड जी सच दैट बी टू सी आर वन वन फंक्शन ओके टू आर वन वन देन जी कंपोज एफ ए टू सी इज आल्सो वन वन सिमिलरली प्रॉपर्टी टू इज इफ एफ सच दैट ए टू बी एंड जी सच दैट बी टू सी आर both on to then g compose f a to c is also on to okay now i am discussing invertible function okay the a function is such that x to y is defined to be invertible if there exist a function g such that y to x that means here x set x set and y set okay x is a domain set and y is a codomain set f such that x to y is a function ओके एंड इज कॉल्ड इज डिफाइन टू बी इनवर्टिबल इफ देयर एग्जिस्ट ए फंक्शन जी सच दैट वाई टू एक्स दैट मींस जी सच दैट वाई टू एक्स सच दैट इफ जी कंपोज एफ आई एक्स एंड एफ कंपोज एफ कंपोज जी गोस टू आई वाई देन द फंक्शन जी इज कॉल्ड द इनवर्स ऑफ एफ एंड इज डिनोटेड बाय ए इनवर्स ओके इट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनवर्टिबल फंक्शन बट आई एम गिविंग एंड Okay, now I am giving uh, a note. Let f is invertible if and only if f is both one one and on two. That is bijective. Okay, so at first we have to know how to find bijective. Okay, I think I have already discussed how to find bijective function. Okay, now. I am giving an example. Consider exercise one point three from NCERT book. Okay, question number seven. Consider if such the real number to real number is set given by f of x equals to f of x equals to four x plus three, so that f is invertible. Find f inverse. Okay, so invertible. At first we have to prove invertible. Okay, I am giving. If is invertible, if and only if f is both one one and one two, that is bijective. So check one one. That that means injective. Okay. Let x one comma x two belongs to R. Okay. X one comma x two belongs to R. Such that if of x one equals to f of x two. Okay. Then if of x one equals to x two. f of x1 that means x here x is replaced by here x is replaced by x1 that means the value of f of x1 is 4x1 plus 3 so i am writing 4x1 plus 3 similarly the value of f of x2 is x is replaced by x2 that means f of x2 equals to 4x2 plus 3 i am writing 4x2 plus 3 4x1 plus 3 can say 4x1 equals to 4x2 now we can write x1 equals to x2 therefore f of x1 equals to f of x2 implies that x1 equals to x2 so f is 1 1 or injective now check on to okay let y belongs to r y belongs to r that means y belongs to real number set we have to any number we have to take any number y from codomain set okay then y equals to f of x equals to 4 4x plus 3 because f of x equals to the value of f of x equals to 4x plus 3. Now we have to find the value of x in terms of y. That means y equals to 4x plus 3. 4x equals to y minus 3. X equals to y minus 3 by 4. Belongs to this one is this is belongs to capital R capital uh, real number. Okay, real number set because this is a domain set. Okay. Hence, y minus 3 by 4 belongs to domain set. There exist y belongs to R codomain set such that f of x equals to x is replaced by y minus 3 by 4. X is replaced by y minus 3 by 4 equals to 4 into here f of x equals to 4x plus 3. X is replaced by y minus 3 by 4. So I am writing. 4 into y minus 3 by 4 because x is replaced by y minus 3 by 4, so 4 will cancel. Y minus 3 plus 3 equals to 4. So 
to f of x equals to y. This proves that f is on to function. Okay. Hence, f is 1, 1 and on to, so it is bijective. Hence, it is invertible. Okay. Now, x equals to, here f of x equals to y. We can write x equals to f inverse y. Okay. f inverse y equals to, now the value of x is, the value of x is y minus 3 by 4. So, f inverse y equals to, replacing x by y minus 3 by 4, equals to, implies that, y is replaced by x, f inverse x equals to x minus 3 by 4, x belongs to rational number. Okay. So, the value of f inverse equals to x minus 3 by 4.